Hey everybody, it's me, Timmy. I wanted to come on here as myself. I got something that I need to, I need to, um, I need to get off my chest. Um, I just want to say that I am ready to accept the changes that life has dealt me. I've been going through a lot of changes lately. A lot of life changing things. And I just gotta say that I'm ready to face any change, any changes in my life head on. As a kid, I was always a daydreamer. I was always a daydreamer. And sometimes when I get an idea in my head, sometimes I get carried away. I'll admit that. Because I am one stubborn, I am one stubborn person. And I've been stubborn for about uh, these past weeks. And I want to apologize for the way I've been acting. For my stubbornness, for the tweets I've been writing, and for just for everything that I've been doing. It, if I ever offended anybody with my tweets or anything I've done, I apologize for that and I apologize for acting like such a grumpy person. And I'm sorry that I've been acting so angry lately. That's not what I'm about. From now on, I'm, I'm not here to be sad anymore. Because I'm a man. I'm a 34 year old man. I should be happy. No more sadness. Only happiness. Because I love each and every one of you. And I don't want you to see me like that again. And from now on, I'm going to smile every day. And I'm going to take things one day at a time. Thank you for listening. I love you all so much. I know that you've all been busy. And I know that sometimes I can be a little overly sensitive. I can be a little overly sensitive. I've been that way since I was a kid. People at school used to tell me. Why are you so sensitive? You need to lighten up a bit. And you know what? Maybe they're right. I need to lighten up a bit. I need to... I need to YOLO. You know, I need to live that YOLO lifestyle. Because... Life is too short to be upset over things we have no control over. Life is too short to be upset with somebody. And I'm sorry that I acted the way I acted. Sorry about all my my cryptic tweets and all my angry tweets. I apologize for that. I'm willing to come on here and be a man and admit that I made some mistakes. I'm willing to come on here and admit that I am a 34 year old, a 34 year old grown ass man. And I don't have time to worry about the small things in life. If changes come my way, I say bring them on. Bring them on! I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm here to accept the changes I've been dealt with. That's part of being a man. That's part of being an adult. Is admitting that you're wrong. Admitting that you've done some things in the past. 
you know, I'm not the perfect person. I've done some things in the past. I've done some stupid things in the past as well. Some things I'm not proud of. But I just want to say that if I ever made any of you guys feel uncomfortable in any sort of way, I apologize. That's not who I am. That's not who I am. Yesterday, I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, Is this who I want to be? Is this the person I want to be? No. I want to be the old Timmy Flyers guy. The one who was a good friend. The one who cared about people. I want to be that guy again. I don't want to be this, this angry, disgruntled guy just because he can't handle a few changes. I don't want to be that guy. I want to be the guy that put faces those changes head on. I've been through a lot of changes. I got through them. And I just want to say, if, any more, if life wants to bring any more changes to my life, I say bring it on. I'm ready. I'm ready to accept it. And I'm ready to be a man. I'm a man. I bleed like a man. I sweat like a man. And let me tell you something. Even though I'm a man, I have feelings. And I can't help my feelings. I see movies of people in wheelchairs just like me. And those movies inspire me. I saw a movie about you got to give a muscular dystrophy. He wanted to travel the world. He got to do that. You know, I may be disabled, but that doesn't make me less of a man. Muscles don't make you a man. Money doesn't make you a man. A mansion doesn't make you a man. Fancy cars don't make you a man. It's what you've been through and how you survive that makes you a man. I come from the city of Philadelphia and I am damn proud to be a part of this city. I know some people may say that Philadelphia is not the safest city. It's maybe not the best city. But you know what? No city is perfect. No city is perfect. But I am proud to be a part of this city. I love this city. Taught me so much about life. Taught me how to survive. Taught me how to be tough. When you live in Philly, you have to be tough. Just like Rocky Balboa said, it ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It'll hit you till you can't stand it no more. Although I may be getting the quote wrong. I'm going to start over. Rocky Balboa said, Life is in all sunshine and rainbows. It'll beat you till you can't stand anymore. But it takes... But you shouldn't blame 
other. You should get up and you. Ah, I really effed up that one. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm to have a little humor there. Just like the mood. Um, Rocky Balboa once said, It ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. And this city will chew you up and spit you out. So you have to be tough. But to everybody that I follow on Twitter, I love you guys so much. And I miss each and every one of you. I know you've been busy, but I know you haven't forgotten me. And I haven't forgotten you. And I will always be here for you. If you need me, that's a promise.